to let up in the, the largest and the fresh water lakes not only in Cambodia but also in the South Asia. It is not as only the lake but uh, the complete ecosystem. It provides the waters for irrigation for almost other pandas farming. The lake also defeated the river to lake up which is one of the most important rivers in Cambodia. It's a lake that cover over an area of the 2,500 square kilometers. Its lanes cover around 160 kilometers from one east to another. However, during the, the wet season, the, um, the lake size grow to about uh, 16,000 square kilometers and meters, about uh, 250 kilometers in length. The Tunlisa River, which uh, usually they take the, the waters out of the take and emerges into the Mekong River layers. The river that usually the flow into the sea rivers direction uh, during the wet season. Tunlisa is located slightly the west in the heart of the Cambodian and extended to five provinces. The Tunlisa River is about 120 kilometers, which um, originate from the southern tip of the Tunlisa Lake. It then flew down till it coverage with the Mekong River in Phnom Penh. Tunlisa is the center of economic and uh, biological activities in the heart of the Cambodia. About a million of the Cambodians are depending on Tunlisa directly or the indirectly for their livelihood. They would include the activity like uh, the fishing, selling inland, and exporting fishing products. The people from the during the dry season, of course, and the supplies of the fresh water and the survivals by the Tunlai Sap Lake to the complete regions make it so important. How to reach the, the blooding village of the Tunlai Sap? The easy way to reach the Tunlai Sap is from uh, Siem Reap, which is the closest city to Idnath. They are required a lot of the vehicle option available to reach there. We you should um, rent uh, a bike for a day available between fifteen to the twenty US dollar per day. Uh, who live uh, on the Blatting village of the Tonle Sap? The community of the people who live on the Blatting village on the Tonle Sap Lake is mostly immigrant of Vietnam. The people have uh, lived in the Cambodian for three or four generations. The, the immigrants who live a comfortable life a uh, generation ago, the separate house lost uh, during the Khmer Rouge. Many of the immigrants were killed, while another who considered Cambodian their home were asked to the in Cambodia and return to Vietnam. They live in a refugee camp in the rampart of poverty for a long term and then decided to come back after the dissipation of the Khmer uh, the traffic of the identity. However, according to the, the Cambodian prison law, immigrants uh, cannot own land in Cambodia. With no the local ID proof, their immigrants were pushed to the waters. Apart from that, the local authority do not issue a birth certificate to their children either. There is a home to many Cambodian of the Vietnamese origin who live in the Plantain village on the boat by the lake. Most of the fishermen of the Tonle Sap Lake are of the Vietnam origin. They have lived in Cambodia for a long term and are the main the suppliers of the country's fisheries market. Deeply thank for you watching my video. If you like my video, please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yeah, thank you so much. See you again.